Hello Debbie, I know you're out of town. I want to shoot you a quick video to show you what's going on here uh, with the leak in the hall bathroom for the Rivermont house. And you can kind of get a feel for it here is that uh, you guys have installed new glam, glue lamb floors. It was just a, a laminated floor. And what happened here is, and I'll show you, this supply line, when these things got replaced, which is what we did here and over here, we reuse these existing supply lines and what's happened there is that chemicals and age over time split the supply line uh, but what is also going on here is when I came into the property this sink up here was full of water it was filled halfway up with water and the stopper was pulled and this left supply line which I've replaced now with braided mesh and if you have rental properties or any of your properties where you live, switch all your supply lines to this braided mesh. These chromed out pipes right here, which is on the old side, over time, chemicals and just age um, will lead to some splits and deterioration and get pinholes in those things. Uh, a lot of them times you'll see polybutylene is still used as supply line and you actually have one of those in the bathroom here. You want all those changed out. But for some reason, someone had taken this left supply line apart. So when I came into the property, you know, this is what I saw. Um, this is completely collapsed. And you can see the mold on the sides of this cabinet here. Um, this cabinet should really be replaced. Um, but we're going to go ahead and treat it with microband and, and rebuild it and just put it back. You know, it's, it's a waste of money. Uh, but you can go ahead and put in for it with the insurance company because uh, technically that's what your insurance covers you to put it back exactly the way it was. Um, and this should be replaced. So I'm not sure what caused this in here, but it almost looks like someone was doing some due diligence or some inspection or something, tested this faucet out, played around underneath and then dropped it loose. When we did this work, I went through this house myself and I checked all the faucets, I checked for leaks, it's just what I do on every job. And there was nothing here, everything was fine. You can see that they had a problem with these supply lines before because your dad or whoever Replace this one, put a new base in this one some time ago, and you can see that see that line back there? That's where it leaked previously. That's not from this time, that's from the last time. But what's happening with the floor, and I'm not sure you can see it, and we're gonna put in for it from the insurance company, but you can sort of see see the ripples a little bit in here. The camera's not gonna pick it up real well, but this is all absorbed water, so it's all raised in here. And the problem for the insurance company is again, your policy is gonna cover to put you back in exactly the position you were in before this all started because this space is all tied together we can't match this glue lamb exactly it's just not going to match so what they'll typically allow us to do is to replace all of it which would run all the way down through here and into the master bedroom and bathroom this stuff is in great shape and I'm not saying that we need to replace it but your insurance company should cover that and that will allow you to cover your deductible. Whether you choose to replace it or not is up to you. If it were me, you have the house for sale, it's noticeable if you're looking for it. Most people are gonna rip this thing out and put hardwoods in here, or tile or something different anyway. I, I doubt anybody would keep glue lamb in, in a property like this. But So this is what happened. Somebody messed around with this particular sink. Maybe it was leaking, maybe they noticed it. I, I, I don't know, I really, I can't tell you. Um, but it looks like it leaked for a couple of weeks and so we've had the fans uh, and dehumidifiers I've, I've had a bunch of rental stuff down here in the basement area and so we've pulled back the, the carpet and I own some of these too but one of them burned out down here and so what happened we're trying to dry this carpet and then I'll treat it with microband and go ahead and put it back in place but you can see the mold and the strips down here um, so technically the insurance company would cover to replace that stuff, replace the pad, the, the carpet, you can just smell it. I'm going to put a deodorizer in it, and again, you have the property for sale. If you were living in here, we would just replace this carpet. And then what happened is a leak came through here in the ceiling. This is a stippled ceiling, and so we're actually going to have to remove this ceiling, replace the ceiling, re-stipple, prime, and paint. And so that's what you're looking at in here. Today is Wednesday, uh, the 5th, I believe and we'll need another full day of just drying this stuff up to see if I can deodorize it and put it back. That's gonna be the game plan. 
uh, and it just stinks but this water was sitting down here probably for a couple of weeks before anybody noticed it and the only reason anybody noticed is the ceiling started to collapse so unfortunately that's the issue uh, we did resolve the cause of the leak um, if you have you know other questions certainly give me a call but this will give you an idea of what it is what I would do I'll send you two estimates one is for the insurance company of what you're entitled to do and the other one is just for the repairs and and things that that I would do if I were you um, and that should put you in good shape so give me a call if you need to but this at least lets you know what we're doing here but again understand that you don't have to replace all this flooring um, we can come close to it but me personally because the house is for sale and it's value priced, I would just go ahead and button up this cabinet, treat it for mold, treat the floor with microband, and call it a day. So take care and call me if you need to, 770-912-2829. Thanks. Bye-bye.